Hi guys, Linda Antwi with the Red Carpet Report here in Hollywood at the Directors Guild for the IDA Awards. We're going to talk to a bunch of documentary filmmakers and I mean these movies are must see. I mean they're up for awards so come on, let's go check them out. Sarah? Hi. Amazing, amazing documentary. Thank you. Talent obviously runs in your family. <laughs> Tell me what made you want to actually really pursue this story? Well, I first learned about this case in 2003. I met a couple of the guys, and I was just so outraged by what had happened and the fact that it was this unknown story that the convictions had been vacated, mm -hmm. and nobody really knew. No one had cared. It wasn't as interesting a story as it was when they were guilty. And so it felt, and it also felt like it spoke to so many issues that we deal with outside of this. This is not an isolated case. You know, we see the false confessions in this case, and we see them in many other cases and the kind of suspicions and assumptions that made it so easy for people to believe that these children, these, these teenagers, had committed this horrible crime uh, is what you see in Trayvon Martin. It's what you see in the NYPD stop and frisk policy. And so it felt like this such an important story, both for the five to give them this chance to speak for themselves and tell their story, um, but also I think in the way that we can try to have a conversation about the things that lead to a miscarriage of justice like this. And it's so interesting because even on this end, as media, you know, the media is going to go to the story, but then, you know, you find out, oh, the story wasn't true or something else happened, and it's like maybe two sentences, and that's unfortunate. Right. I mean, the media played a role in convicting them and in, in this rush to convict them. And so I think there is that, that element still. I mean, some people said, wow, this is, you know, we made a mistake. Let's try to fix this. And I think in some places they sort of said, well, I don't know about that because it's hard to admit when you're wrong. And I think even the media didn't want to do that in some cases. Now, did you know that you were going to be part of their healing experience in all of this? You know, that's been the most amazing part of this. And I don't think I was really prepared for how it would play out. But the, you know, we always knew that we would be on public television, but we really wanted this to be a theatrical release. And part of that is because the ability to bring it to groups of people, to be in a theater and to have some of the five come and interact with an audience who's just seen their story and heard their story has been the most amazing experience just as an observer. To see them experience this and get this love and support from this audience. Uh, and it, it is healing for them. And to, to be even just a witness to that has been a really incredible experience. And I think that also too, like to feel that type of love when maybe, you know, 14 and 15 going away to prison, you're not getting love in prison. Right. It's so different from what they experienced yeah. as teenagers being hated, despised by everyone. I mean, they were in the media, they were called wolves and animals and savages. And they were, I mean, their families, you know, couldn't walk down the streets. And, and so for them to be able to come out and feel comfortable being in front of a crowd and telling their story and, and not only not being sort of pilloried, but, but being supported uh, is really great for them. And it's great for the audience. I mean, we, ha we often have people watch the film and then say, you know what, I just really want to apologize. I'm sorry, because I believe that story and I feel terrible now. And that's, that's a great healing for everyone. Absolutely. Well, congratulations. Thank you. And I look forward, your dad was telling us a little about your next project. Yeah. I look forward to seeing it. Great, great. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. For more interviews, make sure that you like and subscribe. I mean, really, like this one.